הלו, היי שלום, איסי סיבר עם סווידה, ואיזה אוגוסט, אני חושב, 2022. When I fall, before I fall to sleep, I talk to God about to not, and I talk to them also, but I have to talk to God first. I tell God to not let any spirits come in in the night, because nowadays they don't need to uh, come and talk to me in the night, uh, because... I know they are here around us and uh, I am relaxed now. I don't have any fear for them uh, before they have to talk to me in the night when I was relaxed and uh, they could reach me that way. And uh, like everyone else, I was uh, uh, raised to think that it was a ghost that come in the night and wanted to talk or show up, show up in front of me. But it's many years since I stopped thinking like that. But uh, I couldn't speak to them before uh, it started now with a podcast most. But I had also when I I recording videos before, so it start about 2015 uh, when I start to could talk to them, the spirits, talk to the spirits, and uh, uh, all of them need to go through God first. It's fi- uh, it's it's a filter. So not evil spirits will come in front of my eyes or I hear from the devil's children because uh, the filter when talking to God about uh, to not let them in, then it's him my protection to not have these spirits coming that is evil so it's only good good spirits and uh, it uh, I forget that it was this with like uh, not a star but a bigger than what the stars show up when it's in a spirit way it was more white and a little blue inside it but it's trying like it wanted to go come and I told her that spirits that was trying that uh, you can talk talk to me when a daylight when I am awake and don't disturb my my sleep I need a sleep for my brain I told so they didn't come through and and I forget it and then today it's this with the spirits I don't know how they reach me sometimes and this was I think it was uh, some uh, 
I get some DNA match on my mother's side. And I look at those names and in my family tree. And then I see converse in my family tree on my mother's uh, tree. And uh, I was thinking, maybe it's this uh, Connie cover that I have recording. I have talked about her before, for about one year ago. And there is, uh, I was I am surprised that there's so many that have listened at this episode. But and I know I am going to talk about Connie uh, Covert again because something uh, new things have happened. I look at her last name and then I I search for it in my family tree and I saw I have many converse in my family tree so she was she is the same as uh, I say that all spirits that is coming here and talk is connected with me and uh, Connie covert is not in in very uh, very close to me but she is in my family tree and uh, um, I, I am going to check out my laptop. I have um, a tab tablet that I recording uh, my podcast in. Uh, so I wrote it. Um, I I listen at the the episode, the chapter that was about Connie Converse and uh, it was something that hit me what I was talking about Uh, I say that I felt I should watch uh, the documentary that show up in the same time I open up the television there was uh, the documentary should start so I sit and watch it and see if it was something interesting with the documentary and it was for me sometimes the spirits can make you I want to tell this so you are awake about it, that you understand this, that sometimes when you turn on the television or radio or all this kind of media, is it something message for you that show up from the spirit world? It's not by accident it happened. It is really done of the spirit so I felt I should watch the documentary about Connie Converse and uh, it was not uh, so very uh, interesting documentary but it was uh, a little interesting so I continued to watch it even if I didn't know I, I was connected to her uh, and then I say this in the in the episode about her that uh, she she wanted to be uh, be known uh, she wanted to have attention because she has something to tell the world uh, but the world didn't want to listen we are the same in that way that I have much to tell the world but the world doesn't want to listen and uh, it's on on this um, cloud 
What's his name? Um, SoundCloud. It's have uh, now again I have it start to go down, and uh, there is uh, in two days I have it only been twenty listener like that, so I'm very close to close to recording episodes in my podcast because no one want to listen but I don't go in to delete my podcast because in the future maybe there will be interest that something happen that make people come back and listen to my podcast but just now is it going down for every day and um, the only time I I can make it uh, uh, more listener is to recording a new episode. And it is a little stressful that I can't recording episodes if there is nothing to talk about. So the, the spirits need to come and want me to recording so they can talk and so this episode that was about Connie Converse uh, it's her name was Connie Converse and then God come and talk in that episode and so far have it been 65 listener on SoundCloud I don't know uh, how many that have listened on those other platform I have for my podcast. But SoundCloud is my main uh, recording platform I have. And I like it also because of that what I see with uh, of people when they come and listen and that statistic and... Uh, Yesterday I have one listener from Israel. So I be happy. Sometimes it sits uh, from countries that I just in that time want to have a connection with. Uh, but it was only one. So I have a, a you that listen from Germany and Ireland and United States. And England, um, uh, that is more like followers, real followers that want to listen on every episode I recording. So thank you for that. Um, It's very interesting with Connie Converse in one thing. I... It's uh, I know she. It's she that uh, was uh, in the night, and because she she want um, she want uh, more be attention uh, to her. That's what she tried to do. To get attention, but uh, no one, no one uh, pay attention really to her, like she wanted it to be, and so that's why I wanted to do an episode only about her and where she is coming from, and uh, she. She, her name was Elizabeth Connie Eaton Converse, and she was born August 3, 1924, and she was born in Laconi, Belknap, New Hampshire, in the United States. And her father, his name was Ernest Luther Converse. 
and um, she had she had two brothers also and uh, like i say she she disappeared ninety seventy four and no one know where she was going and um, and I, I I was on my way to wandering because she drive away with her car and I forget to to look at it if they if they find her car in this investigation um, because what she is telling me now just before I I started this and it says uh, the car never be found so that's more likely what she is saying to me that she drove into a forest and she she sit there sit there and 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 die passed away she di- didn't die because she is here in the spirit but they, one day they going to find the car with uh, some bones maybe in it if not the animal have taken it but she is uh, showing me that she rest uh, rest at a tree she is out from the car and she sit and uh, she lean on on a tree and that's how she died sitting on a on a stone and lean on a tree that's how she showed me now Um, and I was uh, looking at her family tree I followed the family tree and I was on uh, wondering where did the sure name convert converse converse came from so in um, in United States when they come to United States this family not Connie convert but her relatives and sisters they come to United States and it was in that time in 1600 like that uh, that they were in like a colony they they have their own area so it's called a british colony in the united states and that's many had it that they have where they when they come to united states uh, and uh, they say in um in America that uh, we, you have to to be here like like Indians and native Indians they block them in into a ter- area and that's how they did with people from other countries that come to America not on the, not like thinking that this is the same people we also come from from Europe to America once uh, like that uh, they lock them in like that and um, in for Swedish people they they got them um, get the area around Chicago Illinois if they could live with uh, those uh, native American Indians if they could uh, come together with them or uh, fight uh, to uh, kill them they they got 
a place to live for free. So they tried to do it and uh, as they were from Sweden they were used with snow and they were hard working people that come to America. So they did it and uh, there was many that be become friends and that's how the native Indians was is in my in my family tree. I have some in um, in marriage native Indians and from at least two tribes um, and then I check out Connie Converse's uh, family tree and uh, they come from England and they and that, that I'd be very shocked. I have to walk, uh, standing up and walk to my laptop again because I wanted to read for you what I find that is very, very interesting. Now it's far in time. This is from June. 1432, and that's in Hornby, Hornby Castle, Yorkshire, England, United Kingdom. And uh, he died on July 26, 1469, in Edgott, Edcott, Northamptonshire, in England, United Kingdom. And uh, his name was the converse changed a little, like many short name changed to be more to could handle it more. But uh, his name was John de Conyers, John de Conyers the second, the knight of Yorkshire, and become the legend. Robin of Reddestale, that is what we call Robin Hood, born at Hornby Castle, North Yorkshire, buried buried underground tunnel at St. Mary's Church in Benefici of Lower Wensleydale. Once, uh, and then I don't know what what they are writing there. But you see how interesting it was that she was connected to a Robin Hood. (laughs) And that is the fact, because he was a knight. He, He was a knight was uh, uh, those soldiers for the royals that was close to the royals and um, so he uh, that was he was when uh, it was that uh, become a leg legend a legend of robin hood so he he must have been brave and he must be have been very kindly been in charity to people that he saw so what uh, this um, unfair going on between his people the royal people noble people and the ordinary people that was a big gap between and it uh, started to be that today also it's he's coming back the the history repeat itself and it will be that and uh, but today it will be more like people be their own robin hood and it's be like being on the edge of 
be criminal a little and uh, say that uh, excuse themselves because they don't have the money and the political people steal from uh, ordinary people that's what they are talking about I hear you there is some here that uh, thinking like that it's it's a Robin Hood today also, but the Robin Hood is yourself. And I, I can't judge you for that. That's up to you. I don't have anything with your decision. I'm here to tell you how heaven think about things in uh, that we live in today and I can advise you but I can't make the decision for you that you have to do by yourself so it it, it uh, uh, there is, uh, I, I feel spirits here, but I don't know if they want to come and talk. But if they are with me, uh, only because I'm talking about them. Because, the, yeah, so Robin Hood, <laughs> Robin Hood have a connection with me also, but it's very far away. It's not close. It's going from from many generation to Robin Hood, and then it's going down back uh, from somewhere else down to me. It's far far away, but uh, it's I have very much uh, connection with England. An island, of course, in Wales, because my in the most earliest it was the Viking that come to Scotland and down to England and this, and that was on my mother's side. One line is Vikings in my mother's family tree. And I have not find my my grandmother uh, my grandmother's on my mother's side. I have not I have find her father, but I don't know where when and where he died. And uh, it's very strange because it's uh, one man with the same name. And born in the same year, and he moved to Utah in the United States to be with a Mormon church. But I don't think it's he, but I try to find it out. And um, I will see what I find. The grandfather on my, uh, my mother's side, her. Her mother's, uh, its father, say great grandfather. Uh, those, uh, it was he that I find when I was in, in Salt Lake City. Uh, after I come back, I I check him out, because uh, it was my grandfather's uh, father, that. Uh, they told me and showed me in uh, in Salt Lake City that he was adopted. So it was not his real father that was written up in the church book. So when I come back home, I I was very much into to find uh, the real father, and I find him because uh, he was married with my grand great grandmother 
say they were married, so that it was paper on it. But this man, <laughs> it's very interesting in some way that I find. It's, uh, they live in a little village. And uh, I saw that yesterday that uh, the father of my grand grandmother, he, he lived in that village. They maybe was neighbors, but he was married. And still he was on my grand, great grandmother. They, they were born about the same year all these three but he was cheating on his wife with my great grandmother so i'm wondering what kind of man he was that did this and if it's affect the dna and what i will find uh, because it's much work to do to to find i yesterday i I was thinking I need to go as I don't know anything about him. I need to go on his siblings and check out what they they were saying and it confirm me what I have seen. And uh, is this that is standing here now? Is a man standing here, and uh, they, it's it's he that I have felt the whole time, but he had hard to. <laughs> He's saying that to me. That's because all the women. He says so. Uh, it's like, like uh, all the women he was messing with. Uh, is front of him, so he had hard to come forward. I do, I see that is much uh, people before him, and he is like he's in a wardrobe of clothes, and he have to take them aside of clothes to come forward, and he is here. And he is a little playful man. He he was playing. He he didn't take anything serious in life. So, and uh, I maybe can ask him also. But Connie converse. She told me how she died, and uh, maybe he will. Tell me more so I can find him, really find everything about him. So that he he was born in a, in a, in a military family that I could see in the books. And they live, uh, those military, they got their house, a little house and... Uh, property and they got some some uh, money from from the military to live on and he he was born there and uh, he's uh, he's very fun because he, he's showing me that he was very nice close he was he was very picky when it came to clothes. He was very clean and he's standing out from other people in that village. And he said that that, that impressed on, on everyone. And, uh, and uh, the, it was not me, he said. I don't know. If I should trust him, he say At- I attract women. I attract women so much. I have to go away from everything. He said, "That's how 
how it is now uh, i understand a standard connection with connie converse and him not in the family tree but how they acting because he was also going away because when i have look for him it says that he only disappeared this man so it's very interesting to see like Connie converts she disappeared and uh, this my uh, great grandmother's man a father to her child he also disappeared so i have seen writing about this man that uh, in that time in in the middle of 1800 they write up they they go around in in villages and they right sign up all the names that is in the household so in that way i have could trace him uh, to see that he was in that village where my great grandmother was in born in also they were neighbors maybe born neighbors and um, but then i can't trace him because he disappeared and he says that in the church books he say he disappeared it says it's only say that it doesn't say that he died but of course he died as it is so long time ago but he did the same that's why why i i am amazed what what's going on with the spirit that uh, come here because i saw two two uh, like stars in the air coming almost together and i told them that that you can't come you i can talk to you in the morning when i recording in the morning an episode uh, you can come forward and talk to me but it didn't happen because uh, i have uh, painters it's uh, two men that is outside my window and uh, they are painting the walls on on this house so i couldn't recording anything this morning because they were outside and make very much noise and uh, i was disturbed of it i was very disturbed this morning because it was too much sounds for me it was much going on in the morning so i do do it now at uh, it's about six o'clock in the afternoon and they come through here they're coming <laughs> through it. <laughs> uh, he is very fun because now he he start to dancing with those women that didn't want him to come forward but they are not clear these women i only see a shadow of them like with long dresses on but he is <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping and and his leg is up in the air he's really a, a joker a fun man showing me that he was the, like that when he lived and he wanted me to know that and uh, maybe it's it where my ancestor uh, on my f- other side because uh, now it's spirits i have to stop uh, that 
touched me so much because uh, in the morning when I, it was so much noise and uh, I was disturbed and uh, the only thing I could do was to work on my family tree. So certainly I got a match, DNA match on my mother's side and that was, it says Harrison Ford. And then, yeah, there is someone that his name is Harrison Ford. And that is the actor, act, actor, but he is not, he have not died yet. But it it's those people, his father, father, mother, I, I got a DNA match. So on my mother's side, I'm related to Harrison Ford. And there have been many, uh, many actors. And I, I talk about it on Facebook today about Harrison Ford. And I say, how can he, those people that I find that is related to my mother on my mother's side, be these actors, singers, entertainment, entertainer, and all these funny, creating people. That, because my mother was no fun at all. <laughs> she was so strict. And she couldn't draw anything. Uh, and she was singing like a crow. She couldn't sing at all. She had nothing of it. And still, I see that in my family tree on her side, that man, he is actor. Uh, I have related to Clark Gable, for example, and Rita Hayward, and uh, Bet uh, I can't, Ray Reynolds. Uh, this actress, uh, Greta Garbo, on my mother's side, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't fit into my mother, but sometimes the, the, the genes can jump over one person, so they don't get anything of it, and my mother don't, didn't get anything of it, but still there is on both my parents is it fun people and people want and the devil want to me to look like I am very boring person that I am in invert like Connie converse she was invert person but I'm outward word uh, I am an outgoing person and I'm very fun to be with. But people don't know it because they, the devil have talking against me. And so people think I'm very boring. I can't do any joke. I am very, very negative person. And they don't know. They assume it because they have never met me. And they still are saying that. But they have never met me. And they have never... When they say oh, she's talking with the demons about me. This is the people. The, it's people they, on Facebook saying... Don't be friend with her because she's talking with the demons. And she is in new age. They are saying like that, but this is people that have never listened at my podcast. They assume it in some way that I don't understand. Uh, but I understand that they don't understand what I'm, what I'm working with, uh, what I'm saying and what I have going through in all my years, my life. They don't know anything about my life and can tell other people that 
they like they know everything about me and they don't know anything about me and I can't go go for what other people are telling you you need to check it out and look for it by yourself and make the, your own decision and not copy another person's decision above upon up another person you can't do that and um, it's um, i coming back to Connie Converse because it's her episode is so I read it now that her brother said that uh, why she'd make a suicide they think she did a suicide she they don't think she only disappeared and uh, uh, he say uh, she maybe was lesbian and that is it's talking because the pressure of it uh, it have going on from 1968 around there about the homosexual people and uh, they try to break, break through since 1968 and and I was also this uh, so like I had nothing on me on the upper body. I go with my tits hanging out so they can, could see me like that. I was like, I am a rebel and I, I was in the rebellious way, but I have never done drugs. And uh, they started with this uh, free sex like uh, here in Sweden it was like it was a Danish couple that was very uh, very famous in uh, in sex uh, advices and uh, one they ask how to do with the kids when they uh, they wanted to have sex and they, they say that they should ride on the back of the father and let them play like that. That's how they were talking in 1968. And then they had push, 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 push on until they got the breakthrough. Uh, and the setback was AIDS, HIV. AIDS but they come very quick to get a solution on that problem uh, because they take its priority one to to make a solution for those things that is evil things people want to do when it comes to cancer there is no solution fast. It's not priority one. And the heart disease is not priority one. It's only this uh, causing from the sexuality that is priority one when to uh, come up to uh, with a solution. And they do it now with this monkeypox it's very quick coming a vaccine that they can take those that uh, do this sexuality homosexuality and get the pox so uh, it's we should be aware to talk about who am homosexual or not because it's a it's a force also it's a force they think they need to do the same thing to 
to be normal. And this is, uh, it's not sexuality, it's uh, mentally issues. When they have to think that they need to do the same thing as the big group do to be normal. Um, and that is not sexuality. Rape is not sexuality. It's it's a force to to be have uh, this power over another person. Um, Con- Connie, converse, come and help me so I can end up a little more positive than I and than it is now. <laughs> See, it's um, I um, I have listened to her music, and uh, I am not in uh, into that kind of music. She was singing beautiful, and uh, she have a deeper message in her music, and. Uh, for me, it's music, music, a melody. Uh, I don't listen so much about the, the lyrics of it. I am more the rhythm of the music. Uh, so, uh, but uh, if you are uh, curious about her, you should listen to her. You know, she is on YouTube to could listen. And uh, I think I have looked, searched for her to on Spotify also, and other music places. So you can find her, and you can find a documentary also about her on YouTube. So uh, I hope you you are pleased with that. I uh, how I talk to you. Talk about you, Connie. Uh, I give you attention, attention that you did, didn't got when you were here on Earth. And I hope uh, you can have a peace in that way that you know that I was, I was talking to you, and uh, I will see. If, uh, if it, this what I saw and heard about my great grand, uh, what is called a great grandfather that he, uh, was missing from the church books, if it's fit into him what he's saying here, but I believe that. I believe in everything what the spirit are saying. Until I see something else, but I haven't yet, and I I hope I do. I get the truth because the spirit is truth, so it should be truth. So thank you for listening, and God bless you.